All right, hi, my name's Julian Strauss. You are watching on my new site, uh, Senadio Strauss. Senadio being Latin for the cure or to heal. And we are going to be discussing a variety of topics, and those topics uh, are gonna run from self-determination, self-governance, self-worth, a self-work, value of independent thought in our in a truly democratic society, and all of this is for uh, my website and my YouTube channel, Sonadio Strauss. Obviously, my website is www.cannabisoils.ca. I am a medical marijuana grower in Saskatchewan, Canada. I provide non-divertible, non-smokable primarily, uh, high CBD, CBG, high satellite cannabinoid tinctures for people with an extractable uh, epilepsy, uh, palsy of different varieties, and obviously um, uh, the basics like multiple sclerosis, MS, Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's, or ALS, uh, all of this. And a big piece of my business as, med as a medical advocate in Canada, especially when we're talking about cannabis, is moving the conversation forward. Moving uh, the understanding of what the of what the possibilities are for the medical marijuana industry uh, in general and uh, patient advocacy. So teaching patients their rights in Canada, uh, teaching patients to understand that when it comes to things like healthcare choices, self determination will make or break your ability to truly be independent and uh, and to take advantage of all of the alternative therapies that exist uh, once they've hit their ceiling for the prescription medication that they're currently on for whatever the, the, the condition is that ails them. A lot of uh, people have a concern because they, a lot of people, um, and this is primarily my industry's fault, this is, uh, and as well as uh, the medical profession that isn't taking the peer review Reviewed, uh, double blind studies out of Europe and using them in any sort of a scientific evaluation and methodology uh, to actually put forward options uh, in regards to protocol and treatment. Now, um, what I want to get started with today is extracts and oils. People must understand that the vast majority, pardon the bumps, I live in rural Saskatchewan, uh, that the vast majority of the benefits in medical cannabis do not come from smoked cannabis do not come from smoked cannabis. Uh, when you smoke cannabis, you are doing what's, what, they, uh, what science terms decarboxylation. You are decarboxylating your product. And what decarboxylated cannabinoids do is not a hell of a lot. Now, uh, granted, this is a very new industry. A research is ongoing. We are looking to the burden of proof, right? Uh, using scientific methods to actually show what smoked cannabis does for the human body. Now, there is, uh, you know, millions of anecdotal uh, testimonials on the internet that speak of the incredible properties that smoked cannabis and the incredible medical benefits that smoked cannabis has provided for them, and that's great. There's nothing that I want more than, there's nothing that our industry wants more than for patients to receive a benefit from cannabis derived from whatever base form a, a benefit can be derived in. Now, for myself, for my industry, the science back in cannabis, we need patients to understand that cannabis, smoked cannabis, and uh, isopropanol oil, naphtha oil, any of the, the solvent distilled oils are not going to provide the medical benefit that one could receive from a whole plant. The information that we're looking to get across, and the information that we want patients to investigate uh, on their own, doing your own due diligence, doing your own research, because the research, this research exists, it's everywhere, is an understanding that uh, cannabinoids, uh, when decarboxylated and or heated or burned, are not as uh, slippery and fatty. And the reason is that we all remember science class and we all remember hearing that THC uh, penetrates deep into your fat and deep into your tissue and doesn't leave and it causes all of, I mean, all of the endless pop propaganda we were told in school. Now that premise, that hypothesis is based on cannabis being a, a slippery fatty acid, uh, which means THC has to have an A at the end of it. CBD or CBN or CBC or CBG or THCVA or any of the myriad of cannabinoids need to all have an A at the end of them. And that A is telling you that it's still natural, organic, and it's natural whole form, meaning the molecule itself is attached to an acid. And that acid is what gives you the really deep penetration. If you're talking about needing to uh, penetrate the blood-brain barrier, and whether we're talking about neurodegenerative diseases or whether we're talking about tumors, or if we have to break into uh, the properties of the spine, the gray matter of the spine, which 
which is the which is what provides the analgesic prop, uh, characteristics in the human body. If we're looking to penetrate into the gray matter of the spine, if we're looking to break the blood-brain barrier, if we're looking to help with things like diabetes, uh, if we're looking to uh, in regards to deep tissue penetration of the pancreas, and uh, if we're looking to uh, all of these all of these benefits, as well as CB2 gland or CB2 receptors are uh, um, autoimmune. If we're looking to truly penetrate deeply throughout the human body and interact with all of the billions of cannabinoid, the endogenous cannabinoid receptors in the human body, we need an acid-bound compound, meaning, obviously, that's juicing. That would be uh, juicing leaves in flour. That would be a cold press or like a, a bubble hash extract for, for edibles. Edibles primarily not heated or heated at a very low temperature. Uh, and in, our, in, in my case, my company, we use uh, butane, uh, food grade butane that they use in the food industry for preserving uh, or uh, CO2 and CO2 is our preferred method unfortunately CO2 um, has is still sort of in its infancy so the ability to acquire uh, again when you're dealing with CO2 extraction much like with any botanical extraction you're always doing cold press because in all botanical extractions you're looking for the acid molecule you don't want to decarboxylate your oregano oil or whatever it is you're dealing with uh, so the same the, the same is true scientifically and biochemically for cannabis now, when we're dealing with cannabis, what we have to remember, the different, the varying uh, temperatures that you apply to your canister or the gas is going to provide, uh, it's going to extract a different cannabinoid compound. So you can isolate THC or you can isolate CBD or you can isolate uh, CBN, like a, a, a lightly degraded uh, uh, THC. You can, you can isolate uh, any number of the compounds in cannabis and extract just what you're after. So CO2 um, along the path to the future will be the extraction method of choice. Scientifically, uh, if we're looking for medical efficacy, if we're looking to really be able to quantify what's in our products. Now, as it stands right now, uh, butane works fantastic. Obviously, it's a solvent uh, with a very low boiling temperature. So, uh, because we have to get rid of all of that solvent, all traces of that solvent, what we're left having to use uh, is a cold vacuum chamber. Meaning, if we use heat to get rid of the solvent, we're, we're going to end up with the same medically altered or chemical chemically altered uh, compound that you're going to get with naphtha or isopropanol or Everclear or what have you. Uh, but again, if we're, doing, if we're using butane and we're ensuring we're keeping a very cold temperature, doing all of our purging in sub-zero or zero temperatures or very cold temperatures, then we're left with a natural acid-bound molecule when all is said and done that is slippery and fatty in, in nature uh, and will uh, break the blood brain, will break into gray matter of the spine, will deeply interact with uh, CB2 receptors. Um, and help the human body. So, uh, again, a little bit of a little bit of fun facts as we move forward on uh, the, the the medical efficacy and the medical uh, uh, potential of cannabis. Keeping in mind the vast majority of anti-tumoral, anti-angenic studies, the vast majority of studies that that, that link a, a, a causal relationship between the apoptotic environment of the human body, which means a non-necrotic cell death, a natural non-necrotic cell death, of metastasizing or bad cells. Um, all of these research, anti-tumoral research, all of these researches, uh, re all of the research studies, uh, well, have all been done with an oil and have primarily been done with a cold press, so a naturally extracted oil. So we have to remember that if we're looking for the optimal benefit out of the, ca uh, out of the cannabis plant, we are dealing with cold press, whether it's BHO with proper purging, whether it's CO2, uh, again, we're looking for cold press, natural uh, acid bound uh, compounds. Um, and uh, number three, we're looking for oil. And that oil can be used for tinctures, buccal membrane absorbed tinctures, for, for, for any number of different delivery mechanisms for the cannabis, for the patient. This is Julian Strauss, my very first uh, kick at the can on YouTube here. And um, uh, yeah, with Synodio Strauss, thank you very much. And you can find me at www.cannabisoils, cannabisoils plural, .ca. That's www.cannabisoils.ca. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.